and the rear. <gasps> oh, yeah! <laughs> Look at this! Look at this! We got Charizard! <laughs> what we say? Get the sleeve! <laughs> and we have. Oh, no way! No way! We do. Yes, yes, yes. I only got two in there. Oh, you got two in there? Yeah, another one. Hang on, I've got to sleeve this this up, and that's going to go in the very important Pokemon card. Um, no, I have to get lucky. Yeah. Hamatsa. Right. I need an intro video. Let's roll a death saving throw. Do I get a 20? No. <laughs> you deceased. You deceased. You deceased. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. Am I there? Am I there? Am I there? Am I there? Yes! There it is! Ready? Wait for it, wait for it! Platinum trophy, baby! Boom! That's how it's done. Platinum completed. Ah, there we go. Inflict wounds, definitely. Oh, oh, sorry. Hey there, how you doing? So I'm just, just don't mind me. I'm just building a new campaign. So, well, I've got your attention. Why, why don't we talk about this new campaign, shall we? Yeah. All right. Okay. Nice. So, I think we come up with the shaken lands. That is our new campaign, but with new campaign, we have a 
things. So, why don't we just show you what these other things are? I'm definitely going to do that. But first of all, you need story. All right, so we've got books and resources and stuff like that. But we also need players. Have the players. Now, so what, what do we need now? Characters. Yes. Yes, we build characters by running through this book. Then, got a character, story. What do we need to make it excellent? Oh, yeah. Art. Definitely. Definitely some art. That makes that character look great. Now, where can I get some art from? Not sure. Oh, 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 yeah. Pokey crumbs. Look at this. Have a look at this. See? So, yeah, we've got a wonderful artist. Look at these, look. Oh, mimic bins. Dwarfs, Disney characters. Oh, I think that's a Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon. Oh, yeah, definitely. The Gotchi. Who's it? Is that B. Oh, man, look. look at this. B. B. Boggin. Do you know who this is? Oh, yeah, look at this. Definitely. Definitely. Pokey crumbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, head on over to deviantart.com forward slash pokey crumbs. I'll put the links on here. Facebook. She has a Facebook under the name pokey crumbs. Give her a message. And she even has an email. Uh, you'll see that on, the, on this uh, video. Again, great artist. Give her a detailed description of what you are after. Get a drawing, an actual drawing through your messages. If you're happy with it, great. If you want some slight changes, it can be done there and then. And then it gets inked into digital versions. And then it is just amazing. Yeah. B's done. The other characters are getting done. As you go over, give her a message. Say that you uh you came from me, Bolverick. Uh have great artwork designed by a wonderful, a wonderful artist. Stay safe, guys. Hey guys, how is everyone? Hi. Hey, welcome. Welcome to another session of D and D, where we will be playing some the Ghosts of Salt Marsh module, but it's been edited a bit to allow for some homebrew situations. So the players are just getting ready. We're going to get into it in a minute. So interaction is is also available in this in this session. So by all means, interact away. It's where it's all fun, you know, where you could spend your channel points to mess around with the players or the enemies. So. Oh, I'm waiting for you guys. 
so i'll do a recap i don't mind right so as we tr uh, that's not actually why you, no you missed a lot so as we traveled we're following the beasts um a whole herd moving uh footprints of a dinner plate size basically so we were we were tracking a um some sort of herd of something we weren't sure what it was um we did see a herd of herd f flock of goats migration off um uh, they were migrating and giant crabs in the waterfront what the fuck what would i write that down for Yeah, that, oh yeah, that's it, yeah, yeah. Um, so to the viewers, my website is down, but I will give you a different link for you to be able to interact with today's stream. I'll uh, sort that in a minute. Um, correct, he's got inspiration. The uh, king. yeah they're they're arguing about something so i don't really want to make that happen over here i'm trying to interact with you guys a lot more than these people on here so uh well you'll hear him in a minute when i slap him you know <laughs> yeah sorry right. i'm just um letting the stream know why they can't hear you at the moment um so during the next rest we hear howling wolves in the distance so it's quite it was quite a um eventful um in regard to wildlife um there was a giant goat headed to the fire they get there were giant goat herds headed to the fire it startled and ran off then two direwolves stumbled on us as we deal with the issue so we dealt with direwolves um, we removed the direwolves and then we started traveling. Uh, we got interrupted by tracks and blood. That doesn't normally mean it's a good thing if we know it's tracks and blood. So we decided to follow them to stumble across some frog mobs. To start off with, there was only a handful. Um, they are attacking a lonely dwarf in the, in the center pit. Um, the dwarf goes down and gets absolutely beaten before we even get a chance to do anything um combat ensues um there's some caged up individuals and uh there's a big big frog with um a little frog guy riding it looking like he's like some sort of no nobility in his coin by the looks of it at the very back charging towards us as we started to deal with it we got absolutely bum rushed by two uh, is it two or is it one? I can't remember. I think it's two. Two squads of three um, scouts. Um, we took down a few. And then uh, we called it there, didn't we? Because we needed to get... It was late. <laughs> right. Okay. There we go. We are, we are live. Awesome so good to know that a giant toad and a giant frog are two different creatures. Okay, so which one does these look like? That looks like a giant toad because it's got way more hit points. Oh, okay. Ah. You know the worst they thing can... about a giant toad? They can swallow you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't know that. We don't know that. No, I was uh, that was me out, out of game. They are also way stronger. Toads are stronger than fucking frogs by a lot. Yeah. The charisma That's still... why you're fighting, because you're Possibly lion, aren't you? Yes. Oh, right. Shit. Lion, and he's attacking a regular Bollywog. So, yes. Uh, has someone put on some battle music? I have, yes. I can't hear it, but I believe you. Um... It's a river dance. Oh, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> river dance? Sounds like river dance. It's a weird river dance. Oh, God, yeah, it does. 
It's like across the between river dance and Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. In fact, in fact, it makes me want to wiggle my legs with my arms not doing anything. <laughs> what are you all about? I love it. <laughs> Have you all seen how they river dance? They, they, their yeah. arms are like dead straight and their legs are going like 10 to the dozen. Okay, so that's just a regular bollywog swarm down there. So, 15, John, yeah? Yeah. Sorry, 15, uh, Pog. Uh, yeah, that hits. Okay. Uh... Some damage. A four. Lol. Okay. Lol. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> That's all I can do. Mm, okay, then. So, Bollywog Troop uh, on the right there is going to keep running. Mm. And he's going to move 30 foot straight up. Uh, they're going to keep going, actually. They're going to truck it. Yeah, come, come. Come to my uh, trap. And that is all they can do. Um, this Bollywog Croker, who is next to Corvus right now, I mean, is he called a is he called a Croker because he makes you croak? No, he's called a Croker because he does some fucking brutal special abilities. Yeah. Like a frog bard, if that makes sense. Okay. So he, 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 he's, a part, he's a part of the frog chorus thing. He's gonna move. Oh no, that's been lost on people, hasn't it? Oh, dear. Yeah, it's lost on us. Really? Oh, Not me. Did, have you heard of the frog chorus, Jam? Do, do, do. Thank you. Do, that's the one he needs. Do, do. It's like a Christmas song, isn't it, or something? Do, 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 do. It's a. Paul McCartney thing, but I don't know if it's Christmas or not. What are we? Now we'll we'll stand, stand together. together. How far away are they? Ten to the right. You can't boost them. All right, what? sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rewind. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What did that croaker just do? He just ran directly to the right. Okay, so did he not um, leave... Uh, I'll move out of five foot range of our rather heroic Triton there. Yeah, but he only rolled an eight, which is not enough to get to the Bollywood Gamma class. Okay. Since I want make I think he's running towards you. <laughs> doesn't matter when he's running towards me. I'm going to run away from him, so it's really irrelevant. I've, got, I've actually got a plan. I don't know about the rest of you, but I have a plan. You have a plan? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Make someone. <laughs> uh, it feels like overkill, but I don't think this guy's going to survive another round. Of just... Nah, fuck it. He's just going to throw a spear at you, actually. Don't you chuck those spears. <laughs> yeah, catch. Just flex it out. 19 hit you. A 19? Yes, one nine. I think, actually, it does. Uh... No, I've got an armor class of 21. No, it doesn't, actually. So, the Bollywog launches a spear at you, and you sort of just... It sort of, like, glides off the edge of your shield. It was a pretty good throw, but it just didn't make it. Yeah, that, that would be about right. Pretty pissy. Uh, Bollywog Royal. What the fuck can a Royal do? I'm still learning this shit. Oh, this bat has got a multi-attack. Uh-oh. Bring it. Oh, no, shit. There you go, I'll give myself a hit point bar. Oh, it's got a fucking giant coke, doesn't it? Dead dwarf here, I love it. Hello! Oh, no, it's not my turn, don't worry. Is that it? It's only got a movement speed of 20? Ribbit. Yeah, Ribbit. that just bounces more than him, doesn't it? <laughs> so we're gonna go... That's 
close as far as it can get in one turn. Ribbit. Did you guiding bolt the royal earlier? Yeah, I had to someone. Oh, I thought I guided bolt. I thought I did it to the mount, not to the royal himself. Oh, okay. I've got a red dot on the royal. Uh, Maybe I did the royal. Okay, that, that's the only reason I can think of because the hunter's mark went to the giant toad. Which one's taking a lot of damage? Um, I mean, neither of them at full health. Oh, okay. Because uh, it says I did 23 points of damage to him, so maybe it was for him. Maybe yeah, I didn't. It, it, it looks like he was down by okay. a little more than that, so yeah, that'd be him. Alright, maybe I did. I knew I'd attack one of them. Oh, uh, August. Run. So we'll do this for narrative, shall we? Hang on. What's he doing? Well, if you look to the bottom left of the screen. Uh, you're going to hear the shout, Leroy Jenkins. Oh, Leroy. God. Jenkins. Try this one. Uh, Narissa, you are still stealthy. I am stealthy AF. And um, I am going to... That one there. I'm going to hopefully shoot it between the highballs. Uh, let's get him up on screen. Yeah. Oh, it's doing that fucking thing again where it's not rolling on the bloody. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Uh, um, would you please uh, roll uh, advantage? Yeah. Advantage. It yeah. And it doesn't know you're there. Okay. Thank you. Oh. That should come up. It's taken ages, and that's a that worse by any chance. <laughs> Better. Oh, oh I must that. sixteen. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. I looked at wrong. Sixteen does hit. Please apply sneak attack. Uh, that is. Oh, wait. What? Nah. What? Actually, wait. Who are you hitting, Gem? One at the back right. Yeah, she doesn't get sneak attack. Yeah, she does. She's got advantage. She's hidden. Yeah, because she has advantage. But isn't Swashbuckler? It's overall only if she she is hidden oh, okay. the target and she's shooting with a ranged weapon, so she has. Yeah, it's, it's, I know. It's just Swashbuckler is a bit different. I just thought it. Oh, out, okay. out did the Swashbuckler? You don't get it if there's a if there's a creature within five foot of the targeted creature. It's only that it's a friendly type of No, with it's enemy. <laughs> yeah, but if normal... you're shooting into a crowd as a swashbuckler, you don't yeah. get it. Yeah, but normal rogues, if you attack with advantage, you get sick attack. Hang on, hang on. Sounds like two contradicting rules, doesn't it? So I've got uh, ra uh rakish audacity. Rakish audacity. Rakish. I don't know what that means. Uh, is that? Add your charisma to your thing doesn't it yeah and yeah yeah to use your sneak attack you don't oh an additional attack. okay the addition and no other creatures within five feet of you that's the word i was looking for <laughs> all other rules apply okay yeah i knew it was so, different but i didn't know if it would change okay i've part. got to try and uh apply damage because for some reason i can't do it's not working which is stupid. you want to just roll um is it 2d6 this level uh, it's 1d6 plus 4. You've done 9 damage initially. You need to add the sneak attack on top. The, where the, where the... Have you multi-classed? Oh, 2d6. Sorry for sneak attack. Sorry, you are right. Um... Because I'm a fucking nerd. Uh -huh. Oh, shit, you just made a frog kebab. What are you, what? friend? <laughs> uh, bonus action. 
I would like to hide. Is there anywhere I could hide? I mean, I can hide. Yeah, it's bonus really action, isn't it? Trees, but uh, you say that again. Make, make me a stealth roll with disadvantage because you okay. have to move. Uh, okay, let me do type of roll. I think you've killed the one that's the initiative tracker. Yeah, you have. So hang on. Roll with disadvantage. Trust me, these guys are not very perceptive. Oh, wow. Well. i got one. I think it's come through. I don't know why it doesn't work for me no more. I wonder if you need to reinstall the thingy. There, there is yeah. a... There, there is... Wow, that was slow. We got <laughs> nine, yeah. I was going to say there was a roll, um, a roll twin, uh, uh, beyond 20 update recently. Right, let me um let me remove it and I'll uh I'll do it again. While Narissa's getting her act together, uh -huh. uh, here on deck, Val is gonna run and help Corvus. Fifty billion feet that way. I'm gonna remove them from the initiative order as well, so uh Apollo stage. Okay. Let's close everything and start again. Um, let me measure some things. Can I see this guy? Yeah, you can see him, right? Just in my range as well, 90 feet. <laughs> the mother of I'm going to grab my, um, hang on, where are you? My, my spell book, I'm going to read some arcane words and I'm going to point my focus and shoot a, a, um, purplish energy towards it as I cast Tasha's Mind Whip. Mind Whip. Oh. I'm going to roll it. Of course, gone. That's an intelligence saving throw, please. Oh shit, there's a lot of stuff in this character sheet. Intelligence is not one of them though. Well, um, display it so you can read it. Because it does stuff if it does things. Okay, I got me a 16. What's your DC? Ah, oh, you passed. 13. So, uh, you take. Um, what is that doing? Uh... It's 3d6 psychic damage. Can't lose its reaction. More of it. Choose whether. It... Okay, okay, okay. okay. So be three d six, and I'll take half that. So six damage because I got twelve. I'm gonna okay, test something. Um. Oh, that's about there, there. There we go. Yeah, we've got twenty two yet. Yeah. Narissa just starts in the swamp. Yeah, basically. <laughs> okay, so right. yeah, you just take the six. Oh, I'm diving Are bonus. you moving? Are you bonus actioning? Um, I'm not bonus actioning. Um, uh, I'm probably going to shunt over here a bit. Yeah. Now I'm done. Cool. Give me just a sec. Should have done a port at portent, shouldn't I? Damn it. Should have. Because failing that is nuts. <laughs> According to this, Devlin, you are next on my list. Right, okay. Um, see the two cages that are penning these people in? And the lizard uh -huh. in. Right. Is there an obvious way to open them? Uh yeah there is it, it looks like they've got um some sort of rusted bar pulled across the uh cage door with locks on them okay, with what whereabouts on say the lizard men slightly closer um western edge bottom square 
So if I go 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, you mean there? Yeah, is that yeah. right? Yeah, right, and then, and then use my action to, to smash open this lock and free them. Hang on. Let me. Um, With this lock. Roll me a <laughs> as you run up to that cage. See, I told you how to plan, people. It's called even the odds. If you want just the lizard men all attack me, that'd be great. <laughs> They're probably the ones that were on the boat. <laughs> That's all right. They were drunk. They never saw me. <laughs> yeah, but we dubbed them in. <laughs> no, you roll me a perception check just as you get there. Well, Devlin, perception. Please be good. 17. Um, these guys are beat up to shit. They are not so, looking healthy. And the one in the back, uh, he looked bad. Fine, he looked, I still, he still, want, still want to smash the lock open to free them out the open the cage. Okay, then. Uh, roll me an attack for because I'm guessing you're not going to pick it, you're going to try and break it open. Yeah, I'm smashing it open with my hammer. Which, this is definitely. 16. 16 to hit and 6 damage. Mm. Well, you hit the lock, but you don't quite break it. Maybe it's lock. I'll keep trying. How many but I, can't, I can't. No, I can't. So exactly, but this is, I mean, like, next round. Right, cool. The, the, the lock has an armor class of 15 and 10 HP. That's fine. That's fine. It's, it, it's my... my, my... You know, my clericy cleric style duty to free the prisoners. Okay, in the so hope that, that my colleagues will, will deal with the rest of the Motley crew until I absolutely have to. All right, I'll have some fun with this then. I would have tried to save the dead dwarf, but he's dead. <laughs> yeah, I was going to try that, but unfortunately not. All right then, so Bolly Walk team there. That's team two. These guys are fighting Bog. So what we got? We got two regular Bully Walks. Uh, I'm going to go nuts on this for a second. Excuse me. Fucking shite. So of the four attacks, the Be highest surprised. is the 12. Okay, then, no. Sweet. Both Bollywogs take multiple stabs at you and completely fucking miss. Okay. Oh, uh, Bog. Welcome back to the fight. You've got two Bollywogs in front of you. Bog is going to bonus action drop his wild shape. Nice. Uh, and then cast uh, Thunder Wave. Oh, shit. There we go. That was shit. DC 14 con save, yeah? Yeah. Um, yeah, they both fail. Well, then they both take eight. You know, I'm not too far to see their health right now. Hang on. Wait, okay. One of them fucking blown away. Uh huh. Fuck you. The other guy, uh, right <clears throat> fucks up. Um. And I'm gonna move five, ten, fifteen. There you go. Yes. Um. That's all right. For it, guys. Wait, no shit. Who is it? The bully one twenty-one. Oh, it's bully one squad. Okay. These guys are going to run. They're gonna run up to thirty. 
this squad is all Bollywogs, or is it a Bollywog and a Croco? Uh, one Croco, two Bollywogs. Cool. So, we're going to throw some spears from the regular Bollywogs. Nothing above a 20, so we're going to ignore those. <laughs> You can see Kevin just flex his ass cheeks so they go ding 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 ding. <laughs> really is is AC 20? One. Oh fuck me. He's got a plate I've got, I've got <laughs> don't forget I've got plate armor, I've got a shield, but I've got plus one magic armor because I've got ability that gives me plus one magic armor. Yeah. Oh, okay. Jesus. Okay. Well, so, right? yeah, this is why I don't mind being right up there sort of tanking it because hey that's kind of what i wanted to be Molly well, croaker instead of attacking you he is going to let out his ability. Off. Stop I need that frog you me. to make me a wisdom saving throw well, that's that, that's absolutely fine you watch as i fail now <laughs> <laughs> yeah hey <laughs> natural <laughs> 20 <laughs> Yeah, we make a wisdom based character make a wisdom saving throw. Yay! That's what I like. Thanks, forget it. Cool. <laughs> wisdom, as, yes. As this guy croaks out, all of the guys in the cages crumple to the ground, clutching their ears. Oh. You take 2d8, half of that. I have to take damage. Piss off. I'm angry yeah. there. <laughs> Uh, you take uh, four damage. Yep. Is that, is that... That's psychic damage as well. Doesn't really matter, does it? So it's damage is damage for me. Yeah, no one's got resistances, do they? Not yet. No. Maybe I should that would, give you it, that would be so cool if, if different types of races did have certain resistances. Well, I suppose um, tieflings do, don't they? Fire resistance. Tieflings have. Um, Certain resistances. Yeah. I'll have Star have Psychic. Um, oh, okay. I'll have Necrotic and Radiant Resistance. Cool. So, anyway, um, where are we? Bollywog fucking Croker. This guy. This map is so big that when you say this guy, I've got no idea who you're referring to. It's the solo guy by himself. Oh, in the middle of the map. How close are they? Oh. Cool. From where he is, then. He is going to go hit, use his once a day Rugalog ability. <laughs> he sings a song. Each volley worker within 30 feet of him gains 10 temporary hit points. Ow. <laughs> Suddenly, it sucks to be a cleric. No, it never sucks to be a cleric. It just means that I can hit them harder for longer. <laughs> I've now got a manual yelling all these stuff. Uh, it's the royal up next as well, isn't it? Alrighty, so the Royal, seeing you. Uh, we'll use his action too. Check distance first. Sweet, okay. He's going to croak out a Royal Decree. Which, sounds like every other fucking uh, Bollywog sound you've heard, but more regal. Uh, this fucker gives everyone within 60 feet of him, uh, every Bollywog within 60 feet of him, advantage on their next attack roll. Ow, that's that's pretty bloody good. Oh, wow. Yeah, we ain't surviving this, are we? Well, that, that, that's... No, I'm uh, not surviving this. You're not aware. Oh, yeah, true. You're not. 
Does anyone have like a flashback to some um, bug rules? Oh, okay. A long time ago. All right. There's, a, there's only a, a, a smattering of them. I'll be fine. <laughs> Don't spin. <laughs> do they all have pack tactics? No, they don't. Well, they do now. <laughs> oh, shit. Fuck off. <laughs> um, Nerissa, sweetie, it's your turn. Right. They've got advantage. They don't need pack tactics. What are you talking about? <laughs> um. One sec. Oh, wow. You know what? If I just so, it, this would have sucked horribly. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You're looking at a bollywog. I am. Um. I don't know whether to go up to it and just murder it in the face, or just leg it and out my friends. Um. No, I feel like murdering it in the face with your sneak attack, but. So straight up and shank it. Yeah, sure. Uh, so... Uh, Rock number 15. Nope. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, bonus action. Disengage. So I was there, wasn't I? So 5, 10, 15. Five, ten, fifteen. Okay. Can you okay. get thirty feet? Oh yeah. That's yeah. it. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all I can do. Uh, then not on the map next. So on to Apollo. Apollo. Hey. Uh... Range that. Just sound of war to your left and to your right. You can see uh, the cleric about to get fucked. No, the cleric's fine. I've also got more faith in my character than you do. I'm gonna walk up. Ah, oh, dick. Um, as I walk up, going to shoot some magic missiles. I'm gonna do a level one magic missile. So say some arcane words. I'm going to shoot one at Bollywog on the ground and two into Big Boy at the top. Okay. Not the Royal, but his mount, yeah? Yes. Cool. So we got the one. First one coming to the one on the ground. Two force damage. Cool. Then we have... The amount is four force damage. And then we have the mount four force damage. So the mount takes eight, the bottom of the ground takes two. Nice. Um yeah, that's me. Can you um describe exactly what the Bollywood leader looks like and is wearing, please? The Bollywood leader? Um mm. He looks like every other Bollywog, except he is wearing a muddy blue cloak and he is holding a rod of some description. Does the rod look like it's made of metal? <laughs> Make a perception check. <laughs> it's mean. Ooh. Right. I mean, it might be a spear, which would just be okay. Wrong. You're not All quite right. sure. Okay, because I'm not sure, I am going to cast. Um, I'm going to cast magic weapon on my own weapon. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Is that? No, that's not what magic weapon does. No, okay, I was thought it was thought it was just good description. <laughs> Basically, it gives me plus one on my weapon. Yeah, you need and, that's a, and it's a bonus action. So I'll use that action. spell. Yeah, display. And then I will... Forward. The one... Which one of these three is the one that made my ears hurt? The one that's in base-to-base -base with you right now. Okay, well, I'm going to turn around and smack him with my hammer then, which is now a plus one weapon. 
make Izzy as a <laughs> dong for me. That's a twenty. Uh, yeah, that hits. And it would do one-handed damage, so it would do nine, I guess. Yeah, plus one. All right, so it tries to block at the shield, and you end up hitting it at your shoulder, and it croaks back. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Like, don't, don't you croak at me. Anyway, that's it. Is it easier to bite you with these things? Or is it easier to stab you with these things? You try either. I don't taste very good. But you're talking about me. <laughs> Which bollywog is that? Oh, shit. It's the one down there. It's the Lonely Island. Uh, this guy is going to run up to Narista and try and stab her. Could you not? Okay. You've got to get a 16. Oh, well. Oh, we're all down there. Oh. Uh, we got a 17 with a spear and a 16 with a bite. Oh. They both hit. Nine damage. Uh, have we got any reactions? No. Is that nine total? Seven from the spear, two from the bait. Nice. As the, these Bollywogs that surprisingly have human teeth tries to chomp down on your shoulder. Fuck up, frog face! Like, oh my, those are some big pearly whites. Like, do these guys have a dentist or something? <laughs> Go on, Bog. Um... <laughs> oh, no. What am I going to do with myself? Um, five foot radius. It's not that big. Um, I'm going to... Uh, okay. I'm going to cast uh, Moonbeam. Nuke Beam. Nuke Beam on the group next to Devlin. You're going to hit all of them in your five foot cylinder. That is the plan. Cool. All right. So I need a DC 14 saving throw for all three of them. Yeah. And it stays there, doesn't it, maybe? Um, oh, that's typical. So the lightweights fail it and the big one survives it. Sorry, uh, passes it. So that's seven damage to the big guy. Um, and it's fifteen damage to the other two, which they look pretty fucked up. Uh, first time on a turn or starts its turn there. Okay. Yeah, so when they start there, yeah. yeah. It it says when a creature enters the spell spells area for the first time on a turn or starts his turn there, it is engulfed in ghostly flame. So yeah, it'd be when they start their they're turn. They're not gonna make it. Okay. Cool, alright, we'll get there. Hey look, it's their turn. Now they so, take uh, the damage. Oh, so now I they guess. take the damage. Yeah, I, I think so. I don't think they take damage when I cast it, only when they start their turn there. It's if they either start their turn in it, or if they move move into it. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So, they have just started their turn there. So they've just taken the damage. Nice. Big guy's going to step to your left. It's going to go right. And this guy's gonna go back up his buddy. Like, you know, no homo, giving him a back rub, a bit of motivation. All three of them making their saves and dying. So, two of them failed, one passed. They're looking pretty fucked up. The big one you hit in the face is looking alright. Idiot. 
Not you, the, 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 the one that, that croaked at me. Vendetta against him. Hail, Ray. Up my ears. Oh, we got a map 20. Thank God. Natural 20. And this fucker's. So, of all those hits, we got a nat 20 on a bite, which is 6 damage, and a 22 from the guy you hit in the face, so that's 7 oh. damage. Okay. No, these guys look menacing, but, you know, not so, really. 13, 13 total, yeah? 13 damage total from 2 of the 6 hits that hit you. Okay. Only one right. Seeing the magic missiles, they call some bullshit. Mm -hmm. right. Seeing the wizard. Um... Oh, you lucky bastard. I calculated that. And this bastard is going to throw a spear. Oh, okay. Hang out of spears here. Uh, does a 13 hit? Um, I'm going to react and cast some arcane magics and shield. You did cast mage armor at the start of the combat. Is that included into your um, AC? Did I? Oh, I haven't got it written down here. I've just one you did. Okay, well, if not, you burn your shield. Yep. Cool. Yeah, I've got... I had no spell slots taken of it either, so yeah, I'll shield it. Now! Alright. Look a pow! <sighs> thinking the Bullywug Royal needs to do something, so. He's been, like, not very menacing. You know, considering that he's uh, on top of a giant fucking frog there. Uh, where can he move? He's seen the moon beam, and fuck that. Actually, it's rather defensive for me. Sorry? What, moon beam? Yeah. Moon beam! Sorry. Dot com. <laughs> <laughs> How far can he hock a spear? No, he can't. How far can he hock a spear? Well, he's got advantage on his next attack roll, though, so it'll just be a straight roll to throw a spear from there. What was that red dot all about? The red dot? Uh, that's advantage on him because it is glowing. Uh, oh, it was fairy fire, wasn't it? Not fairy fire, from Guiding Bolt. Um, okay, so that's 16. So, uh, take 10 damage for me. Uh, he only gets two attacks and he's in melee. Hang on. So, what was that? Sorry, 16. Does that hit? Just. It does hit, yeah? Yeah, cool. just. 10 damage for me. Why is my token not working? I don't know. I'm really hoping, like... Marissa or Bob finish that polywog off because, uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna uh, peg it over to be fair. I'm sure Bob can deal with that one. Uh, nope. Oh, okay. I have <laughs> no intention to fight in that one. Well, this oh, one? Yeah. Well, his moon I, beam up there helping, I, um... I, yeah, I can't oh, currently. Oh, concentration. Right, okay. He can probably sacred flame it or something, but Narista, you're up. Okay. Uh, did, 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 did we. Discern that I can do two dagger attacks. I can't. I can never remember. Yeah, you can attack twice with daggers, but you can only attack once with a rapier. That's it. I'm gonna do that. Um, well, don't forget your second dagger da uh, dagger attack would get the dex bonus on damage. Right. I'm gonna tell you right now. You're gonna kill it. Yeah, he's toast. 
And I go, don't fucking bite me, and then shove it straight where I think his ear would be. Merlocks, Merlocks. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, who looks mostly in trouble from where I can see? Up the danger. The wizard. Yeah, yeah Apollo I think the for sure. Is, uh, more squishy at this point. Not only that, he's got the, the the boss bearing down on him. Um. Doctor Zoidberg, yeah. Make it more high pitched. That's all I can do. <laughs> 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 what's that dis what's that distance there, Jim? Uh thirty. Well from you to him. Oh uh, 15. Yeah, 15, sorry. I mean uh daggers are also throwable. Oh, can I carry on? I mean you can throw a dagger. Uh have I got two? Yeah, I have got two. Yeah, I'm willing to lose one. Fine, yeah. I'll, I'll throw one if that's is it loud. Uh, yeah, you can. So this one you can't add. It's your bonus action, so it doesn't get your dexterity mod on it. So it's not the plus four. You'll get, uh, the, you'll get the dexterity mod to hit, but you won't get it on the damage, so it'll just do one right. before damage. So, so what do I do for, to throw just to hit? Okay. So just hit as, try and hit as normal. Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> I was last time. <laughs> how does your sneak attack work again? If it's one v one? Does uh, did you did she use the sneak attack before? No, she didn't. Okay. And it's it's sneak attack as long as there's no other creatures within five feet of the creature you're attacking. Yeah. Definitely freaking get it, and I can't see. It's so dusty. Uh, you can add your. You don't need advantage on a sneak attack roll against a creature if you're within five feet. Okay. Yeah. So that's. Um, how much damage? So it would be four? Four yeah. damage, yeah. Max damage, nothing wrong with that. Mm. So I've run over and then I'll just throw it straight, hopefully, aim between the eyes. Just let it embed in there if it embeds in. <laughs> Take that, you fucker! Uh, you, you aim for the eye, but it ends up falling like into like the arm on the chest. It still hurts. That's right. But it like into the hides that these frogs are wearing as armor. So currently, I have one dagger less. Okay, Apollo. that's me done. Right, I'm gonna put my f my thumbs up to uh, Larissa, and I'm gonna leg it this way. What? Uh, pardon what? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yep, you are in range of the big bad. Oh my god! And then I'm going to extend my focus and say some arcane words in the form of crackling electric energy come out of my staff. And then I'm going to shoot a witch bolt at it. Attack at, with advantage. At the boss boss. Advantage because he's still somewhat glowing from that guiding bolt. Yeah. Advantage roll. 14 to hit. Um, Does not hit. Fuck me. As your spell brushes past it, it takes the glow with it. Uh, so I was here, so five. That was I was here, I know. Five. So I've got five more feet movement. Eh. <laughs> I'm done. I can't hit for shit today. Mm, okay. Devlin. The, um, the croaker. Nice. How badly injured does he look? Uh, nah, he's looking pretty good. He's looking pretty healthy, is he? Yeah, he's looking healthier than you. 
then um, I shall change that, I think. <laughs> uh, what the hell did you use to do? Searing Smite. That's a bonus action. Um, before you do, is right. a magic <laughs> weapon concentration? <laughs> because I know Searing Smite is. That I don't know. Hold on. No, I didn't do the thing that. Uh, 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 uh. Is it? Oh, is Sorry, it because of the way it works? Searing smite is concentration. I don't know if magic weapons. Hold on. I'm just going to find out. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, yes, it is. Do okay, so I can't do both at the same time. Yeah, you'll say I can't do both at the same time. I'm saying uh, you can't do both. Yeah, okay. Can I wreck on my, my turn then? Yeah, sure, I'll let you wreck on it. Uh, I just need to check something. Inflict wounds is not um, concentration, neither is spiritual but, weapon. That's what I was about to do, finally. <laughs> Inflict wounds. Yeah, fucking go for it. I need to turn around and, yeah, what my hand on this goes, die. That right there is some Arvada Kadabra shit. He is no longer healthier than you. In fact, he's looking pretty fucked up. You reach your hand forward and you just gently caress him with the tips of your fingers as an arc of purplish black energy sparks from your hand into the croaker who rears back in pain and mighty. It flinches. It composes itself. It's still up, but it's pretty fucked up. That's a I'm big gonna, hit. I'm going to round my shoulders and go, there's more where that came from. Isn't that at first level as well? Yeah. 3d10 at first level. No one mess with a cleric. Yeah. Before Bog takes his go, can everyone roll me a d20, please? Aye. Nineteen. One. <laughs> the thing. If you add one together, we're all together, we get twenty. That's an even number. Yeah. So, Actually, uh, if you add them all together, 40. you get forty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was almost a twenty. <laughs> oh fuck! Do do I don't I do I don't I? I mean, that's three fails. In the words of Shannon LaBeouf, do it. Just do it! Do it! Alrighty then. My turn. Before your turn starts, you hear a ruckus approaching from the north. Oh cool. no. Oh, More? No. That's right. It was a luck roll to see if they turned up this turn. We can handle that. So, I mean, uh, sorry, Bog, where are you? Right at the bottom. We're going to be responsible for the extinction of the Bollywogs. Say so again. And what would you like to do in your uh, Bollywog? <laughs> uh, use my action to move my moonbeam to directly between the two Bollywogs attacking Devlin. Awesome stuff. And then I'm going to do something really fucking weird. And bonus action. Hidden step. Oh, yeah. Um, which is, as bonus action, turn invisible until the start of your next turn. You attack, deal damage, or force a saving throw. Cool. Uh, are you moving at all, buddy? Uh, I am, yeah. I'm going to... Oh, God. I don't have that much. <laughs> <laughs> 30. Oh, God, is that... It's yeah, a big I'll map. just go... To... And I'm a long, long way from you guys, yeah. Your little dwarven legs. Yeah, there you go. I just realised now that turning him invisible is pointless. Why? Because uh, as soon as I deal damage, I'll be visible again. Yeah, yeah, but it means that you can't be... They can't try and attack you to stop... To, to make you oh, I, but literally, my neck. The next turn is I'm dealing damage. 
Yeah, yeah, but between times, they'll go and they'll they'll start your moonbeam. Whereas, so, do you want to retcon that bonus action? Uh, yeah, okay. I'll say I didn't. I'm still moving, but I just yeah. didn't. Hey, I just cool. didn't do invisible. Can you um, roll me some moonbeams? Uh, I can. Let me find out the. Pretty sure they're uh, dead. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh. 13. They still yeah, have to do dead. a con save, though. Nah, they're dead. Okay. I mean, you know what? Just shits and gigs, let's roll it. Nah. Nah. Fucking crispy barbecue. Crispy radiant barbecue. I'm oh, on the wrong layer. <clears throat> I hear the DMs everywhere. <laughs> so, um, you just watch those two guys get absolutely fucking nuked in front of you, Devlin. That's alright. Yeah, I deleted your cube. I'm sorry. That's fine. The last bollywog who is left is going to try and fucking stab you. Ready? Growl him. <laughs> um, no, you don't have advantage anymore, so it's just slobbering up your armor. If anything, he's cleaning it up a bit. Go for a bite, goes to spear you. Nothing. Yep. As it should be. Uh, Wally Wog's 20. Which one's these? That's the left hand side, okay. Aww. 60, alright. How is this guy still fucking standing? I'm still standing. You can never know what it's like. <laughs> oh, does he go for the wizard or does he go for the girl just threw a fucking... No, she just threw a knife at him. What the fuck? Um, Actually, we'll do one better. Still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Narissa and Apollo. Yes. This croaker starts screeching at the top of its lungs. Can you both make me a wisdom saving throw? Me too? Yeah. Okay. Yep, both of you, please. Oh, I wrote a bunch of me too, sorry. 19. Nah. Anyway. Yeah, you both passed, so that would have been... Uh, take three damage for me. Me, yeah? Yep, both you take three. Three. Oh, three, okay. One, two, three, shake your hands, come with me. I'm on 19 now. Um, what's, what's King Croaks going to do? You know, that seems so far away a minute ago. You know, 20 foot is, like, really fucking far. Yeah, the, the problem is that the um, the giant toad can only move 20 foot at a time, which he's riding. Like, it's actually slower to ride this thing than it would be for him to walk. Yes, but it's like a, a battle mount, is it? Let's be honest. <laughs> that thing yeah. gets into combat. Oh, no, he has got a 10 foot reach. Sweet. Uh, Apollo, have you had a turn yet? Uh, yes, I have. Uh, yes, I have, yeah. Oh, okay. So, the Bollywog Royal is going to walk up to you and going to make two attacks with a spear from ten foot away. Okay. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. We have a 
20 and a 19. Yeah. Cool. So you take... Uh, seven. You take 19 damage from the two hits. Ooh. I need you to make me a strength saving throw. Hang on a minute. I'm so good at strength. Yes. I did advantage you. Sorry. Nine. Uh, you are forced prone by the pure rope force of those spear strikes. Ouch. I don't have like an arrow to knee uh, thing. So I'm just going to give you back pain. <laughs> are you thinking how far can Devlin heal from? Did I not give you guys potions for this bullshit? Yeah, but I'm like fucking 80 foot away from him. That's potions that we're going to throw it at him. No, I'm pretty sure <laughs> you guys all bought potions before you got on the pirate ship. I've got potions. I know if someone but... stole one. <laughs> I've got nothing. I don't think I've got potions. <laughs> Unless you've used it, it's been a long time. I'll give action. my last one away. Your last one. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. You're up, sweetie. Uh huh. Um. <sighs> oh shit! I don't know what to do. Um. I like to think that the two guys at the bottom have killed at least one polywogging this time. Sorry. I like to think they've yeah. killed more than one. <laughs> I think we've had like two rounds of combat, maybe three. All right. It feels longer. It does. Wizards have to choose their spells. And rogues have to look at their cunning actions. Mm. <laughs> Barracks by completely the wrong call. Oh, oh, I really get it. Uh. Oh. It's like, do I uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, I've got the pierce. I fucking. Thing and I, when you score a crit, oh, that's a crit. Okay, once per turn, when you hit a creature with an attack that deals piercing damage, you can re-roll on one of the da attacks damage dice. Okay, and okay, You're um, up. I don't know if to go for him or. That fucker. Um, who looks weaker? Who, who's in front of me right now? Him, him, him. Those three all look pretty fucking healthy with big meaty health bars. Oh. And a little drunk. Looks like they've got plenty of hops. No, fine. Okay, I didn't realize it was about the bad shit. <laughs> It does nothing if I do that. Um, you know what? Move that second squat because it's just too much. I'm going to try and chip away at the... Oh. The big guy? Um, 80 feet short bow. Yes. Oh. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. So are you aiming for his mount or the rider? The mount. Yes. I so don't know if sneak advantage. attack counts there. Well, you don't have advantage and there's no one else in base to base. Okay. Not this time. Okay. But it, uh, wait, what's max hit piece for one of these? Um... You'd say it looks pretty... No, I'm lying. It's not. Cool. Apollo. Right. Um, you are on your knees oh. in front of this giant goat, uh, this royal mounted on a giant goat. Oh, did you want to... I want to go about yeah. there, by the way. That's my movement. Yeah, move over there. Okay. So, what is... Um... What is 
getting up for you? Is it half or is it ten? What is it? I mean, we never discussed this, and I'm pretty sure I've been saying half. So tell you what, let's rule it as it costs you ten movement to stand up. Okay. I'll go five <laughs> movement to get to your feet, five movement to stand up straight. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Um, 15 foot cone. Mm, not really. I'd like to say I hate that rule, but it does literally take me half my movement to get up. <laughs> so. I, I, I mean, uh, we'll say five foot of movement then, shall we? It costs you five feet to stand up. you still got 25 to move unless you're a dwarf. But he's got heavy plates, so let's face it. <laughs> a dwarf standing up is there a height difference I can't. <laughs> I'm going to next time a horse is hungry in our party I'll let it feed on you okay <laughs> I'm, gonna, boy. I'm gonna pull out sad ballot spell book and start encountering some arcane words and, s and send a color spray in the direction of I Oh, of the um, boss. So, I'm going to... Holy fuck me, what is this? So, colour of light spring from my hand. Um, total hit point value of 33. Um, Hang on, I've got a zoom in there. Creatures in a 15 foot current originated from me are affected in ascending order of the current hit points. Ignore an unconscious. Creatures and creatures that can't see. Start with a creature that has the lowest current hit points. Each creature affected by this spell is blinded until the end of your next turn. Subtract each creature's hit points from the total before moving on to the creature with the next lowest hit points. So, 15 foot, yeah? Yes, yeah, so that's just boss man by the looks of it. Boss man and his giant toad. Toad. So, whoever's got the lowest HP is it within 33. The giant toad is less than 33. So he so, is now blinded. Awesome. Until the end of my next turn. Um, If you take his HP from the 33, is that is your boss no. man less than that? Okay, then. No, he is not. Good luck sorting your freaking frog out when he's blind. Right. <laughs> and then we'll run this way. As you start to move away, he's going to take an attack of opportunity against you. Ah, oh, he's got my reach. One swipe. Pick the right thing. Uh, number 12 hit you. Uh, I'm going to shield. Shield. Oh boy, okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, cool. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm going to go down here. There you go. Oh, wise Devlin Storm Shield. Yeah. How's it looking all the way over there? I mean, sorry. How badly injured does the boss look? I mean, he's not bloodied, but his, his fucking mount is now blind. I would say that he's, I don't know, 35 out of 50 something. Uh, probably better to deal with the one I'm dealing with. Okay. Well, it doesn't, it? I don't suppose. A what? A 12. No, 12 does not make it. That what I can do, really. Hey, Bob. Yeah. How much can you move a moonbeam? 60 feet. Cool. How far do you want to move your moonbeam? Um, 55 feet. 50 if you measure from this corner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. Mm, uh, I'm going to blast that. both of them. That's yeah. nice. Um, and then... Oh, shit. What's the range on this? Oh, why is that a fucking... Ah! 
Okay. Um, <laughs> no, I can't do anything else because that, the one thing I wanted to do is concentration. Nice. Hello, that's so, all. Uh, nice. I'm going to... Saved by a moonbeam, I love it. I'm going to continue my... My doodah on running up to Devlin. So the frog is blinded and now moonbeamed. Nice. <laughs> this is about to get real pain. Oh, Horrible. does blinded do anything for Satan Froze? Dexterity, I think. Sure, it's a negative on uh, Dex and Strength. Hang on. Ah, oh, okay. Mission, blinded. A blinded creature can't see and automatically fails any ability that requires sight. Um. <laughs> hmm. Requires sight. Yeah, but it's resisting being like hammer adorned, so I'm not sure. Yeah, fuck it. We can have this advantage. Why not? So, which polywog is 21? This grinding combo is brought to you by too many polywogs. Holy shit! Devlin! Take five damage! Uh oh. As you are bitten and stabbed by this fucking volleywalk. Right. Got 28 points left. I can take it. Good to know. Uh, which squad is 20? It's that squad, isn't it? And I'm not going to use that ability because that's going to prolong combat. And this is starting to drag, and I don't feel as cool anymore. Uh, so these guys are going to rush down. And they're going to position themselves between you guys. Um, they're. They've only got short spears, they're only five foot reaps. They haven't engaged yet. Five minutes, James. Uh, Croker. And Rissa. Right. Oh, fuck it out. Me? What do you mean a croaker doesn't get multi attack? Really? Okay. Um, we're going to go for a. Try and stab you with a spear, shall we? Mm, try to stab at you and he just sort of gets caught in the mud between your feet. Okay. No. Hollywog fucking royal and giant Tony. So first, Tony. Is that his name? Tony, yes. Giant Tony. Um, would you like to roll me some um ba -da -ba -ba. So I got a disadvantage for Tony, so that's a four. And that's a twenty for the king. Can I have some uh, moonbeam? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. Nine. So he takes the full nine. Uh, Bollywog takes half of that, that's so a four. Um, okay, then we're gonna we're gonna do a deck saving throw. Now I guess this would be a strength saving throw to see if he can stay on the. Mount that's now bucking and blinded. Uh, that's a six. Okay. So um, the king is dismounted. Nice. And he's going to take uh, a d6 of falling damage.
Oof. Then he's going to run the fuck away from that fire. Um, we're going to say that as his action as well. So, I need a little crown for this guy. No, we don't have a crown, so that'll do. Oh, right. Narissa, you are up skis. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> could you uh, do me a favor and tab your little sneak attack button? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, sorry, I meant to click on it so you added it to this attack. Oh! <laughs> okay. Um. I had to look this shit up. So you're 1v1ing this guy so you can now sneak attack him. Sweet. Where's the sneak attack button? I'm in a roll 20 that has a tick box. Yeah, no... Yeah, no, but D&D Beyond D probably is already encompassing it, so... It's in the uh, Beyond 20 button at the top. Dan, it looks like you're having a rough day over there. A little bit. How do I... Can I... Is it... Uh, explanation mark interact? Yeah, to get the details. The website is currently oh, down, so I'll have to give you a different link. Uh, let me refresh, because okay, there normally worry. is a sneak attack button, and I can't find it. I just want you to sneak back that croaker. <laughs> should just do it automatically, shouldn't it? Oh, it's, it, it is. It is. It is, it is it's a new thing. It's under it actions it. now on a on the road character sheet. Ah, oh, the van is it? Nice. Yeah, if you go to actions and scroll right down to the bottom, yeah, there's just there. damage. Well, I tell you what, she could probably kill this guy. Yeah, it's already on there. It's, it, I can only see it when I go on my character sheet tab, not the roll twenty tab, which is silly. Um. A 15 is exactly what you need to hit. And how much damage is that? 7 plus 6. 13. I'm still in the fight, just fuck. Fuck. Um, oh, she is looking Bonus right. action, disengage. Yep. Um, I want to keep distance because I want to keep doing damage, but I don't want to really leave people. But here we go. <laughs> to see you run past me, I'm like, oh shit. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. The bully or grows done Super Saiyan. Hello. Yeah. Um, buddy, it's your turn. Yeah. I'm running but, this way. You know, that, that bully or grow is definitely compensating with that spear. Oh, hang on. What do you say is in my range? Uh, one square to the right, buddy. Yeah, you are currently in his 10-foot reach. All right, action disengage. Yeah, okay. Help me! <laughs> uh, got nowhere to go. Uh, sorry. <laughs> are you running low on spell slots here? I've got cantrips, but... Oh, I, shit, okay. I can't do this, though. <laughs> uh, I'm good, I passed 10. Like, if there was all six of you, I would have no, like, qualms about going all out on you. When it's only four, I'm just like, eh. Eh. So, um, are we done down there? Yeah, I'm done. Devlin, yeah. you, you want to finish this up, buddy? Oh, shit. Hold on a second. Um... Oh no, there's a fly in here. What, why are we making guns now? Oh yeah, you took it. I took damage, so my magic weapon's off. Oh, it is. Thanks for reminding me. That's right, I just remembered myself. Help! <laughs> 
Oh. Oh, what? Absolute brash. Rough. Oh, well. Um, you swing for it, but this little bass has got his little wooden shield, shoving it in his face. It's just not a good time. Hey, Bog. Uh, yeah. We're dragging, we're dragging this out. I'm sorry. We had plans. Um. Fuck me. Everything is just fucking concentration with these bastards, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Like that, That's the problem with Druid, man. Yeah, I'm moving my thing. I didn't want to move my thing again, but I'm going to move my thing to... Like, get those. It's five foot beam, right? Yeah. Go for the minions, sweet. Um. Uh, I don't know where to go from here. What's this square? Um. <laughs> it was uh. Uh, was it sliding stuff down? What's it called? It, like, it was like a tangle of vines or something, wasn't it? Okay. Um, uh, does Devlin look like he's got this situation handled? I don't yeah. know anymore. Like, I thought he had it two rounds ago. I could kill him any time I want to. Okay, you're just dragging it out. Okay. <laughs> um, I, was hoping, I was just hoping my hammer would. I was just touching me. It would just croak it. So, Yeah, no, I'm just going to stay where I'm at then. There's nice. not nice. a lot I can do. Okay, so the Bollywood squad's bit there. I think that's the down there. No, it's not. 21 to 1 fighting devil. Shit, how is this minion still alive? Uh, spirit attack. Spider attack. 15, 19, carry on. Just, yeah, you guys just swapping spirit, chatting shit. Um, how much friggin' moonbeam damage are you about to inflict? It depends if they succeed or not. 14. Nice, fail. Fail, fail. Um... Biggin got a 15, little one's got less than 10. I think 14 is the DC. Let me just double check. Yeah, 14 is DC. You said 14 damage, so. Uh, two of them just got fucking obliterated into the sun. Um, in the distance, you can hear a Frenchman croaking about frog legs. You are MVPing this fight right now. No, a moonbeam is fucking. Yeah. yeah. Right. So. I'm just high as fuck. He doesn't know what's going on. And a roll yeah, cool. for the uh, OD. Uh, he's going to move 20 foot towards you, blind. Oh, no. He's blind. He doesn't know you're there. I don't know he's blind. What's King Julian going to do? Oh, no. He's going to run up to Marissa. And, um... <sighs> show her his shaft. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> You're terrible. That was the worst. <laughs> what's gonna... what's, what's oh, the worst? That's, uh, the that's a little bit small, isn't it? He's going to shaft you with two hands from ten foot away. Sorry, twice. he's got a pointy end. Well, the first one's an eight. The second one is an eighteen. That hits. Cool. Take eleven damage. Ooh, I am down to eight. And make me a strength saving throw. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> um, hey, that's what the shaft's for. Uh... I've got a minus one on that. Oh, that nearly went on a 19. It's a zero. Oh, God. Oh. You are oh. slammed down into the mud over the sheer girth of this spear. Surprised, though. It's so easy. Fuck me. 
<laughs> Jesus, where is it? He moved here, or is he still where he is? Who? Boss man. Yeah, boss man's running up. He's uh, oh, he needs like a different token. He's got a blue background to the brown of the others. So oh yeah, I've hit. only just noticed that now. You've pointed it out. My, uh, spot, okay. Roll twenty is crashed. Roll twenty is crashed. Oh shit. Oh, right. oh, reset. I I'm sorry. Oh yeah, it has as well. It hasn't moved at all on yours. Refresh. Sadding. Do 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 do. That's better. Here we go. Well, I, 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 I'm sorry, Bell uh viewers. This is not the night I thought it would be. All right. XP farming. Yeah, we're XP farming. Here we go, yes. Uh, ten feet to stand up? Uh, five feet to stand up. Oh, five feet to stand up? No, it's ten feet to be stupid because I'm not saving you that much. Uh, how does he look? Um, I mean, from the whack he just gave you with that um, spear, he's looking definitely above health health. Fuck. Fuck. Um. Fuck you. A bit. Fuck off, and I'm going to run away. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Are you disengaging with your bonus action? Yes, I am. Well, I'd ask before you got another... Weapon hit. Oh, uh -oh. Uh -huh. he's leaving me. <laughs> Don't leave him. Yeah. Rocking hard, for you guys. Yeah. Oh, you love Don't me. leave him. <laughs> I'm a pussy. I need an adult. Um, I'm hurt. <laughs> so, so, so Don't I. leave him. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Trust me, don't leave him. Fuck. It's bug shouting. It's bug shouting. What? What do you want, bug? I go about here. I didn't think these guys were so terrifying when I ran them in combat. Jesus. <laughs> Hey Apollo, mm -hmm. you're up. Alright, I'm going to go... Oh shit. Is that, is that a bonus action? I think it is. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's a little... It's a fucking level 2 spell, I don't have any slots left. Um. Um. <laughs> I'm going to shoot a ray of frost at uh, boss man. Ray of frost for the boss man. Yeah, I'm going to roll the hit. Hey, 19. Yeah, yeah, that hits. So it's 8 cold, and I believe your movement speed is reduced. Starting to look fucked up. Yeah, you've just reduced my ten feet. Uh, five. Man, this this has turned into more of a boss fight than the boss fight you're going to. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-four. Oh, fuck. Thirty. There's <laughs> 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 stuff under there. There's stuff over there. There's stuff over there. We're in the middle of it. I'm good. Oh no! Okay, no. Stuck in the middle of you. Devlin, please finish this. Finish him! Oh. Oh, I Damn it, 12 misses, doesn't it? Oh, oh, oh my god! A fucking crit. Well, 12 oh, misses, so. 12 misses. Oh my god, you reach forward to the crackling energy. And seeing what happened to his friend, he just 
you can't quite get close enough. Bastard. We need help! Oh. We need some oh. milk! Oh, fuck it. Um, take the opportunity to attack. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'll just look that. Hold on. Yeah, that's a 17. He's not going to hit you. Idiot. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the frog's not blinded anymore. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, I'm still out of range. It's your turn. The lizard uh... folks are going to reach through the bars and start fucking up that bollywog. <laughs> Couldn't have done that sooner. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, I, I, I rolled like a one d four to see how long it took me to stand back up. They got a four rounds to wait. That was four rounds. Jesus Christ! What are they okay. doing? They must be drunk. Because I have been rolling this shit in the background, guys. Horrible. Hey, Bog. What up, Dodge? What up? What up, Duck? So, um. Sorry, I need to do this. I'm going to cast Ice Knife on the big mount thing. Okay. Not concentration. Uh, Moonbeam is concentration, but I have every... I what what is the... Concentration. Ice Knife isn't, but what's the thing for dropping a spell with concentration? Uh, you do it as a free action. You don't have to stay... Right. Okay. 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 I mean, you can keep um, it. No, I don't, I don't want to. Uh, I want to cast Ice Knife on uh, the big one. So, 14 to hit. Uh, that hits. Uh, then he so then he takes four piercing, then he has to make a deck save. Uh, which he passes. Uh, okay, so then he takes three cold. No, it doesn't take any. Oh, it doesn't take any. So, he just takes the piercing. The cat's okay, about to take piercing cool. damage in a minute. Uh, I'm going to free action drop my concentration. Oh, cool. Oh, shit. I forgot one vital flaw. Yes. Uh, never mind then. I'm going to keep it up while it's while I have it. I might as well keep it until I did something. I had something planned, but we forgot that once you cast one spell, you can So, I fucked that up. <laughs> so, we come right. to the ball of Croker. Have you finished moving, bud? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, might as well. That's a four in his con save, so, uh, uh, he fails that and takes seven radiant damage. Up goes the froggy. Toad. He's towed. He's towed. He has been towed away. God, he hasn't paid his bill, so he was towed away. Oh, wait, no. So it's now this croaker's down. What? Oh, okay. He's fucked anyway. Oh. All right. Oh, protect the king. Yeah, that'll do. He will die to the arcade oh, magics. I think it's going to fuck you both up. I'd rather not. <laughs> like, ah. Uh. Look at the wrist arm again. I've got a plan. I guess he's going to whistle his fucking froggy back to him. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, run away, you fucking fat bastard. <laughs> yeah, that's enough. How you doing? Just a couple of games, how you doing? <laughs> oh, God. That's... Hey, no. while he's mounted, he gets advantage on attack rolls. So, you know, that kind of makes sense. God damn it. <laughs> What's so hard to get him off it? Does that change my plan again, though? Hey, Nerissa. Uh, uh, 
to take him down. Me and you. She's probably muted. Yeah. Sorry, I was chatting with someone. Um... <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna shoot that fucker. Uh, okay. No, 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 not players. You need to help us. <laughs> no. Oh, well, look at 85, wouldn't it? All right, okay. That works. Okay. Oh, hello. What's he doing? Is he bouncing a hill spell across the map? Uh, I don't know. No, I'm moving and then checking the range of the hill spell. Ah. Uh, right. Nerissa. Store's closed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which one did you just turn into a porcupine? He's toasty. He's gone. Oh. And then I'm going to be like, fucking move and go five, ten. 15, 20. Uh, That's not very sensible. 25, 30. Okay. Hmm. Cool. All right. Apollo. Yes. What's up, Doge? You've only yeah. got one vital target left on the field and he's riding a toad. Oh, we've got these over here. Yeah, they're being dealt with by the guys not here right now. Okay. All right. Uh, what's the range of this spell? I feel like really lacking frontline fighters. We've got Devlin, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, my front line was like uh, 150 foot away from your front line. That's what you really didn't help. Uh, really? I've got. Fuck. Oh, cry. Okay. Right. You, sir, are annoying. Now piss off. And I'm going to say some arcane words. And I'm going to. And I'm going to start to. Um, Evolve a sphere of um, like uh, acidic, acid, acidic uh, nature, and I'm going to throw it at um, boss man. Boss man or his mount? Sorry. Boss man. Roll for attack. Oh, 22. Oh yeah. Fourteen That's acid. Awesome. You watch it catch him in the chest, and it sort of. <laughs> takes a big ass hit uh that's a lot of damage yeah die bitch unfortunately i don't know that information just a couple of gamers i'm not the dm i mean <laughs> pretty bloodied <laughs> if apollo can hold on for a little longer the hill goes to the boss <laughs> Fuck you, Lester, quite frankly. Did, did the boss? Yeah, he hit the boss. Uh, DM's discretion of I'm what leaving. healing is. <laughs> 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 what, so hang on, how much does it heal him? Uh, whatever you decide, it's your, your discretion. 1d4. Oh, really? Oh, shit. Yeah. I mean... Jeez, just the thing. All right. Um, so I'll kick his ass at magic tomorrow. It's fine. That's why he's talking some mad game now where you can't get him. Uh, what, what's a cure wounds? It's like 1d8 plus whiz, yeah? Yeah. What do 1d8 plus freeze if Devlin healed him? I was expecting him to do that. Like make it like I've healed him. Thank you. <laughs> Leave me right out of this. Jeez. Um, so we got what is that? A four plus so it's a seven. So his his froggy god is his toady god is looking after him by the looks of it. No, I mean, yeah. Just hit it for no, fourteen I... acid damage. It's just like not fair. Like there you go. Yeah, he's he's almost. Oh he's... no, you fucking idiot! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. 
<laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So you just moved. Uh, well, I, I won't bother moving. It's pointless. You saw me just measure that range perfectly, and then you just go to move. What a uh, wally! I, I, I my character didn't see it. No. I'm done. I'm done. Devlin, you're yeah. up. Fine. Well, considering like, if they die, they die. I don't care now. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah? Yeah? I'm waiting for it to do something. That's on the boss, and it misses. Oh, that does go up. wide. The roll's a bit absolutely bad. I know. 12, 12. I bet you have a 12. I know, 9, that was even worse. Actually, that was an 8. There you go. Yeah, awful. Oh well. Yeah, Wait for the second level spell. Oh well. I'm gonna cry. Any movement in there, bud? Sorry? Are you moving? No. <laughs> okay. Oh. I've just declared it. I've just seen them run away from me. If they run away from me, I ain't gonna try and catch them up. That's I want to move my. I want to move my moonbeam onto the. Uh, yeah, like I did last time with both of them. Sure thing. I didn't want to do this, but I guess. I mean, I could. Just. That moonbeam is, is pretty handy, though. Uh, and then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh, yeah. behind. behind Devlin, <laughs> big man against beyond the little man. Fine. Hey, at least he's doing stuff. You two fucking down there, carrying me, me and uh, Devlin up here, fucking who, who the fuck wiping hit? the field. Well, that's what happens when you run off. Children, please. I was trying to free the prisoners. I think I think I had a, a rather noble. Uh, uh, <laughs> Well, mind. you can die hero that. then. That's fine. I'm not the one that's going to die here, am I? Let's be honest. I'll just heal myself, unlike you lot. Next no, I don't action, need to. I'm going to fuck off and go to the pub. Yeah. <laughs> fuck this shit, I'm no. out. <laughs> we have a uh, moonbeam. The giant toe. Ah, just. Bites the dust. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that means he falls off, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's going to fall down, but he's also going to take uh, half damage from your moonbeam. Yeah. What? Who what won? Was that? Is, that, is that damage from his fall? Yeah, that's his damage from his fall. Oh, one. Oh, my gosh. Why did the dice take this so much tonight? Going to get up. Oh, he did movement. He did movement. That's another. That nah, takes it one or another. Yeah. And we are going to make two attacks with his royal spear. Well, me. Um. I hope so, because I'm using you as a fucking human yet. shield. Sorry. Twenty-four. Does yeah, it hit? That hits. Yes. Make me a strength saving throw, please, and take eleven damage. Hold on, that's not straight saving throw, if it did anything. He didn't roll anything. That's all right, then. Uh, that is a six. Yeah. You are knocked prone by the first strike. Oh, no. Okay. No, that's the wrong way around. Sorry, hold on. Um, and I am prone. Um, okay. And then next attack's only a 19. That's not going to make it. Did you give that yourself is, advantage? I did give myself advantage, and no. Okay, yeah, right, which isn't. But if you're prone at range. No, nah, because it's a 10 foot melee attack, it's not a range attack. Oh. There well, is, sir. Actually, said that. Right. I don't know what the prone rules are. Well, it's, a, it's advantage on a melee attack within five foot of you, so it wouldn't have advantage, but it was still not above the thing. But don't worry about it. What do these two look like? Those two, don't worry about them. 
Oh. Don't oh. worry. The royal left with X value points. All right, we we survived. It's fine. The, 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 are they are they not enemies there? Then it's not meant to be there. Uh, well, they're kind of being dealt with by Corvus and uh, Val, who aren't here right now. Oh, uh, if I knew that, I would have run the other way. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, uh, have I got anything in my equipment? Well, bearing glass of oil. Um, knowing you a crowbar. Literally do not have no healing at all. Hey, oh! Dan, okay, I've got questions, but I'll ask you in a bit. I do have one. Now, do I chug it? Do I chug it in front of the wizard? <laughs> Because I'm pissed <laughs> off right now that I've got a hurt. Hmm. <laughs> um. Do you, but you're in great range for a uh, spell attack. Touch. Oh, I need to take that off. Uh... Um. No, it's uh, just, um, guys, guys, guys. Is he, he hurt? 50 he hurt. HP. Who Zero. has? There's only one viable target left in the field. Go kill it. Too far away. <laughs> you got a long bow or something. 80 foot reach for a short bow. Ah, okay. You have, you have a range one. Oh, there we go. That hits. All right. <laughs> there you go. Still standing. The uh, mighty arrow flies from you and slams into its side. Why, you're facing the wrong way, isn't this shit? Apollo. Uh, what have you got? <laughs> I'm going to shoot a fireball at it. <laughs> no simple fireball. Natural 20. Ah, oh, that's so overkill. Describe how your uh, firebolt hit Bollywood Royal in the back. I'm going to look at Nerissa, look at everyone else, and look, see Val and uh, Corvus dealing with the, the mobs to the left of us. I'm like, fucking bastard. Just die. And as, as, I, as I say some arcane words in a baseball style esque. I'm going to throw a fucking fireball at it as hard as I possibly can with my minus one strength. Nice. You release the ball and it flies through, slamming into the neck and shoulders of the Bollywog. Burning into its back, it lets out one final... <laughs> before falling, smouldering to the ground. And stay down! Yeah, that's what I thought as well. <laughs> you guys are now out of initiative. Good. I'm going to do that. <laughs> you going to kill Will and Devlin or yourself? Uh, Devlin, I'm still full HP. Really? Oh, sorry. Yes. But thank you. I yes. am. I'm right. going to go to the other two. Oh no. Well, I... right. No, 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 no. Apart from the fact I'm going to say that. Oh, they're coming over here, are they? Okay. <laughs> Nerissa, are you coming? Or are you going to stay down there? Uh, no, I'm staying out. All right, fine. I won't hear you then. <laughs> I'm going to chug the potion because she's I'll in the mood. I've got damn sight more healing than you chugging the potion. Yeah, that's that's I was going to pop a healing spirit. I think I could do better than that. Well, I don't know, actually. Depends what yeah, you're healing, healing spirit that's... is just one of them things which you only heal when you stand inside the... Yeah, oh, but it's only got six shots, isn't it? So I feel like I need to stop you guys from burning too much stuff. Well, I, I'm going to have to because between myself and the wizard, um, I'm going to spend ten minutes praying to Moradin. 
Mara didn't guide me. Nice. So, everyone there, it was 10 hit points, 11 hit points. Can I just walk through the, the bog and just pick up my dagger so I, and any arrows and such? Yeah, make sure you walk, 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 walk this way. See that square there? There's loads of arrows in that square. <laughs> Don't be a fucking dick. <laughs> I mean, I probably should have been making count how many arrows you had used. You know, if I was, uh, if I was, if I was a DM who cared about arrows, you would never be able to collect any of them. Because yeah, I've, seen, I've really seen what happens to arrows when they hit armor, right? They don't survive. <laughs> That's what the mending cantrips for. No, nah, well, yeah, if you can find all the bits to it. Or gold is for you to buy humans. Are you trying to smile yeah. face on the... <laughs> they like dead cheap, and they, for like 20. Yeah, it's, it's like a couple of silver for like 20 arrows. So, you have um, nothing but rusty old spears from the Bollywogs, a cave at the back, and two cages with people in them. I will carry on smashing the locks open. Uh, in the brevity of saving time, you will move over there as Devlin smashes both sets of locks off. Uh, I cast mending on one. <laughs> I will smash you at that point. <laughs> Even though I've got like no hit points. And would I'm probably right. lose the fight. I like so smash. Definitely, you'd win, definitely. Can everybody make me a perception check as you approach the cages? I'm still smashing the locks off, don't care. Boggity bog, 25. Oh, good old 16, that's all right. 14. None of them were bad, actually. Mm, okay, okay. Um, yeah, 16, 14, 25. With those rolls, you see that uh, most of these guys are pretty banged up. Looks like there's a lizard folk and a human who are not doing too good. Uh, one human looking pretty pale with his uh, leaning against the bars of his eyes closed. Uh, the guard, uh, the two humans that look all right, they look like um, guards from the local town, from Saltmarsh. Uh, the lizard's folks are different to the ones that you met previously. Oh, yeah. Darker colors, bigger, strong. Th these guys actually look more like warriors, but only one of them is really in fighting shape. Oh. Ba -ba -da. Now, uh, I could heal them, all of them, but is it worth using the spell slot to do it? You could heal yourself. Let's find out if I'm anyone's dying that. first. Well, they look like they're in pretty bad shape. And we aren't in any way fit shape to get them out of here. And they need to better get themselves out of here, so. So, you, you're letting them all out the cages, yeah? Yeah. Which cage are you opening first? The uh, lizard man's cage, because they've already started work on it. Cool. So, you let the lizard folk out. <laughs> um, the one who's in fighting shape snarls at you. Oh, oh wow. just okay, you try. Yeah, quite frankly. Uh, Stay in the cage, then. <laughs> Taps you on the shoulder and goes, um, he's saying thank you. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it looks like these guys only speak Draconic. Yeah, unfortunately I don't, so I've got no idea what they're saying. He goes up to the barrel. He grabs a shield, a couple of swords and spears. And uh, the shield looks oddly familiar to you all. Ah, You've seen one of these shields with a, a lizard face on them before. Oh. Um, I'm it because it didn't seem to be. It wasn't magical. It wasn't interesting. <laughs> it wasn't. Now that big lizard folk tries, but can't help his other two lizard folk, who are just a little too injured. Well, then I will start doing prayer of hearing. Okay. Okay. You heal them up, but. Looks like these wounds are going to take a little more healing than that. They need what? to get somewhere safe. A se second level prayer of healing? Oh, this is narrative purposes, you asshole. Why? 
<laughs> he's he's <laughs> a bot damage. Oh my god, he's lost a leg. Oh my god, it tip his tail's gone. You monsters. <laughs> okay, if the tails are gone, they can grab their bat. That's up to them. <laughs> this is the opposite of plot armor. They probably lost their tails because they were defending themselves, you know. Yeah, you know, they probably threw them as snacks for the giant toad. Actually, now I say that out loud, that kind of makes sense. <laughs> they probably were snacks for the giant toad. <laughs> um, as you crack open the human cage, uh, the long head, the long head human who is unconscious sits up and opens his eyes. His ears are pointed, but his eyes are a deep red. Uh, Dan, what do you say to your old rescuers? What do I say to these rescuers? Um, Sorry, not fucking Dan, I've just... Huh? Who's Help Dan? me out here, will you? Who's Dan? Apollo? Oh, we've got to the cage. Which one? Who? <laughs> Go. Who's who breathing and who is not breathing? Say I. Hi. Sorry, um... They're not Magnus. I'm losing the plot tonight, guys. I do apologize. Uh, Remus, what do you say to your uh, rescuers? I answered. He said, who's brave and who's not? I said, I. So, you guys see a very suavely dressed high elf. Um, Loose-fitting white shirt. Um pretty much a three-piece suit underneath he swaggers out and searches the barrel for his weapons hmm. excellent still in working order I, i'm sure the other two guards rush past you to get out to free oh th thank thank you all so much we we didn't think we were going to make it. It's been some sort of Bollywood fight club out here. Well, you're just lucky we came along when we did. Were you sent by Fireborn? Did he send you out to find us? Not, not exactly. I don't think, were we? I don't recall that we no, were. No, we were heading no, to go and deal with some uh, a creature with multiple. No, people. we're uh, going to find uh, a, a, a monster in the bog and, and slay that. We just happened to, to come across some blood and follow the blood trail to see what happened. Aye, that was Reggie. Rest his dwarven soul. Oh, well, yeah, speaking of which, can I go and bury the dwarf? Yes, go to where it says Dead Dwarf here. I wonder who wrote that. <laughs> and um, you start to bury him. Narissa. Mm -hmm. uh, you wander off to the blue gazebo and the cave just to the north. Do I? You do. I see something shiny sparkling in the entrance of the cave. Can I see it from here? Apparently so. Sure. Why not? This is narrative, yes. I'll be back in a minute. So, as you wander off in your... I had to say you sent it, didn't I? Do I have to wander off? I mean, there's treasure involved. <laughs> so, I you know what I wander off. Okay. <laughs> Apollo wanders off as well. No. I'm on my own, or stealth. You said you didn't want it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was uh, just like, like, wait, what? Did I just? I just didn't. I got a bit confused. <laughs> it's almost like I'm pushing you guys in directions. <laughs> uh, can you roll me a? Ba -ba -ba. What am I gonna give you? Roll me a d4. 
And then a d20, please, uh, Narissa. Was that a one and a four, yeah? Uh-huh. This is a problem when you roll on table. Uh, shit. Okay. So, you find two potions of healing. Uh, is that the 2d4 plus 2, yeah? Yeah, standard one's 2d4 plus 2. Yeah. Uh, you also find a... A metal helmet that uh, seems to be a bit magical, and it's stuffed with three hundred and twenty-five gold. Nice. And sticking out of that is where is it? You muppet. What is it? You know when you've got notes somewhere and you can't find them? Oh, my gold adds up to 666. <laughs> nice. Nice. Um, there was something sticking out of it, but I can't find a friggin' note for it. Uh, let, let's say that there is um, a little potion sticking out there as well. What does the potion look like? Uh, so, it is... Mm. Um... It's grey-blue with sparkles in it. Grey-blue with sparkles. Yep, I don't know if that's the actual description, but that's what I'm going with. Uh, I pocket the money, I put the potion in my pocket, and I just walk out with so, the helm loosely in my hand. Oh, I didn't know if that was it. Okay, sorry. So, what you've got, to be clear, you've okay. got one... Strange magic blue grey potion, a yep. helmet, two regular healing potions, and all that gold. Oh, yep. narratively speaking, you just gave all the shit to the rogue. Yeah, yep. sure, why not? Okay. Uh, uh, what does the helmet look like? Just a generic. So, um, <laughs> this is like a half helm. Uh, you've got a band of metal and a. Uh, around the crown and a script coming down towards the nose and it's um studded with leather on top it's got two isolates so it's like um you know in lord of the rings where the uh girl puts on the helmet yeah yeah that helm uh yeah so i'll pocket the potion the healing potion the gold yeah uh -huh. and there's nothing else in there yeah so you got a helmet lots of gold and three separate potions. All right, I'm just going to walk out. Um, I go, Oi! Devlin! Think <laughs> fast, and I'm going to throw the helmet at him. Uh, hit me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'm even going to try and catch it. Well, actually, my well, intellect is my dex, but so is my charisma, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Does that hit him, then? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just try this. What did you roll with him? What are you throwing at him? Oh, I rolled a two. Yeah, it hits me. Oh, yeah, wow. it hits you. Oh, oh. sorry. Uh, that, oh, I'm rolling to hit. Why did I throw that? Oh. That's all right. I got a two. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It <laughs> so you get hit by a helmet that she's just thrown at you. I said think fast. Oh, and then I'm just going to walk away. <laughs> Thanks. I think. <laughs> Um, I like this item. Let me add. Does it look like your fit? Sort of. Then I'll put it on. Might be a little loose. Oh, I'll try on. See what happens. It does feel magical, but it may I... require attunement to unlock said magic. I, I, I I'm not particularly smart. I, I'm, I'm going to put it on. <laughs> okay. Not particularly smart. Yeah, no, that's an understatement. I'm, I'm actually... I might be wise, but I'm thick. <laughs> um, you, you put it on, and uh, although it's a little loose, it does fit you quite well, actually. Yeah. Okay. Might take some time to attune to it if you want to find out what it does. Okay. 
I'm going to leave it on, so if it attunes okay. to me, I suppose... Then, Nar um, Nerissa's you... walking with a tiny bit of a limp now. If you look uh, under magical items for the Helm of Underwater Action. Oh, okay. And now that's your character sheet. Okay. I want that out. Uh, uh, equipment, there we go. I would say it's been a couple of minutes, buddy. Who are you talking to? I'm just answering a question out loud. Oh, okay. Um, Bog is going to help big lizard folk man carry the injured lizard folk. Um, I'll, uh, I'll, help, I'll, I'll help these guys get back to the main road. Uh, I think they need my help more than you guys do right now. I think Bog thinks he's too good for the grip now. He did all that a thing without getting hit. Come on, champion. MVP. I mean, Sorry. yes. The MVP of the <laughs> Sorry. Did the lion get hit? No, he didn't. He got hit, but he dropped Wild Shape before he lost health. Oh, okay. Sweet. Good on you, then. So, uh... Bye, Bog. <laughs> See you again in the future. <laughs> Bog's getting marched off with the lizard, man. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Bog. So, Bog is helping and carrying the lizard folk off. Oh, is that what he's doing? Yes, that's what he's totally doing. Uh, you know, looks like... Let me just say he wild-shaped into that giant fucking snail thing and they're all just sat on his back. <laughs> have, you, have you ever seen a giant fucking snail thing? <laughs> Well, I did ask the question, and I was told, "Sure, why not? I'm from a foreign okay. land." Sweet. What, what are they Bob called? Uh, Hungarask. A Hungarask. John, let's go with that. Yeah. We're, that never thing. really fleshed that one out, but for now. Huge B. He uh, assumes the shape of a giant ass snail, and carries his lizard folk away. So long. Nice, nice, nice to meet you briefly. So, Devlin, you wander back to the group to uh, take care of some veterans. And, uh... Can I... No, actually, it's ten... 11, maybe I shouldn't. Oh, sorry. Remus, can you make me a stealth roll? Remus? Wow. Okay. Cool. Remus. As discussed. Um, Alright, guys. With your newfound companions, <laughs> you end up making a little campfire, and... It's time for a long rest. Sorry, do I do I take it that Bog Moss has retired from the party and Remus has joined us? Yes. Uh, well, Bog has Bog has left, yeah. But okay. Remus is just hanging around because he hasn't seen an opportunity fit to leave. I think John does this every or session stay. game, don't he? he no. Out characters. I don't do that. I don't do it every. No, 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 he made it like twelve games. <laughs> <laughs> execute him like last time. Hey. Gem, I told you weeks ago I was going to do this. Why? Did you? Out of curiosity. I thought yeah. Bob was a I, good character. Yeah, he was a cool concept, but I just never enjoyed playing him. Oh, okay. Your choice. So it was, it was sort of... Uh, I can't believe you're yeah. playing an elf. A, a race uh, that I thought you would never touch. Yeah. Yeah. What is going on? Yeah. It's because dirty, <laughs> filthy elves get all the benefits. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little black elves myself. <laughs> yeah. It's humans I'd never play. I'd never play humans. Yeah, really? they're boring. I never play yeah. I have to admit, uh, the idea of playing a, a, a variant human always appeals to me. Yeah, but that's because stats, but 
Well, for it's me, it's, it's boring actually. to play a human again. It's the, it's the feet you get. I think. Yeah. Well, in, in in that case, if this is a new uh, a new uh, party member, I'm being very suspicious about this one. <laughs> very suspicious. Why? Why? He's Why well dressed. Suspicion? Yeah. Just looking him up and down like a piece of shit. Like, mm. <laughs> who is this? Are you are you are you a half elf? A full elf? N no, I'm mm. a full. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what kind? What kind of elf are you? Like you, but better. <laughs> oh right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's just gonna stand there and just like look at him up and down, just being very sus about him. Um, mm. Does he, mm. he like have any magical aura around him? This guy. Mm. I mean, what are you doing to look for magical auras? <laughs> Is that magic? I'm joking, um, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, it's detecting magic. Magic. Yes. What are you going to steal off a prisoner? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> say. It's all in his prison wallet. Wallet. Oh, I'll put mine up there. I'll be at there. your prison wallet in a minute. <laughs> I mean, all he has on his yes, clothes is um, the pack that he just recovered from the uh, barrel. And as you fire off a detect magic, um, other than a dagger, magical dagger that flares up with some sort of enchantment, nothing, nothing exceptionally magical about him. Um, Robbie and Arcana check. Yep. This determines what I do next. Fifteen. Um. Cool. Nope. Nothing out of the ordinary. I mean, I asked Remus. Um, boring. Rita slippers he... are kind of stuff, but other than that, how he found himself locked up in a cage, having been attacked by bodywogs. I was just caught off guard. I was out looking for someone, trying to catch up with an old friend, and uh, just got surprised. Caught me by surprise. And your short-term future plans. Head back to town, I guess. What region are you from? I'm around from around here. A local, then. What sort of weapons did he pick up? Dagger. Just a dagger. Oh well. All right, then. Well, uh, town's that <laughs> way. <laughs> Catch you later. Dagger, dagger, shortbow. <laughs> dagger, dagger, rapier. Oh my god, you picked up a weapon I'm really not interested in. I'm sort of just like, you know, if you want to go out to town, it's that way. I was going to say, he's got no arcane magic, so I'm worried about, so. I don't know. Okay, no. Certainly not any magic, no. I'm, gonna, so, I'm just going to go and have a kick. There is a suspicion of him. Devlin's like, well, you haven't got any decent weapons on here. <laughs> I'd like to think that that dagger is probably better than the one. Uh, and the wizard's like, well, you're not very magical, I don't say, care about you. Did you just say better than my wand? No, his <laughs> warhammer. I was going to say, fuck that. No, nothing's <laughs> better than my warhammer, because my warhammer opens doors. Yeah, my dagger <laughs> definitely won't open doors. <laughs> see, there you go, you see. Unless I jam it in the keyhole, if, then... If you had, like, a long sword or a great sword or, you know, something... Like, like, that made me think, you know, he could, he could, he, he wasn't uh, another... Slip a dagger in your back as, as fast as look at you. I might be interested, but uh, he doesn't interest me really. He's obviously not a dwarf, but he's not going to be interested in dwarfy things. So, so I'm not. I'm not. You never know. In. You never know. I'm... I might be open to finding out about new cultures. Um, Larissa, I actually know. Sorry, DM first. Hang on, uh, Remus. Have you got a brother called Romulus? Uh, no, oh. I don't. Why is Apollo I, sad in the cage? I get that a lot. <laughs> I was going to ask that. Um, what time of day is it? I mean, it's pushing late afternoon. Sun's going to go down an hour or two. Well, um, Nerissa, that cave you were just rummaging around in. 
Mm-hmm. Has it got a, a solid back wall or does it lead somewhere? Oh, I didn't check that. It, it was maybe 15, 20 foot back. Sounds good to me. I'm going to go set up camp in the cave. Roll me a perception check. Uh, yeah, sure. It was occupied by goblins. Second comment. Uh, that sounds even better, to be honest <laughs> with you. Um, bit, bit of fumigating. And I've got an 18. Well, the, the, the decent, we're not in combat anymore, so obviously, you know, the decent dice rolls are back. <laughs> there was definitely more in here than just a helmet. Um, I can't go and accuse her now. I was busy, I, I was busy, what's you calling it? Digging, burying a dwarf when she went in there, so I'm, I'm role playing this like I was a bit oblivious, so. Alright, good shit. So, with that in mind, You've gained a couple of extra guards who are going to be uh, helping you guys keep watch tonight. So if you'd all like to get a full rest in for me, please. I'll probably on be on the outskirts of the uh, uh, cave. A full rest? Yes? Yes, a, f a full night's sleep, yes. You get an uninterrupted night's rest. Nice. I can regain all those hit points. I can undot those. Look at that. I didn't actually use that many spells as it goes. Yeah, see, this is like, I'm always like, why are there no clerics with bows? Like an archer cleric. I, I just feel that'd be like really. Did you get over an archer cleric? No, I don't know. I think it's because uh, melee combat is God's work, not hiding at fire ranges. Also, isn't it um, a little bit difficult because then you'd have to be like a dex. I suppose you could be a dex cleric. <laughs> you can be a dex cleric, yes. Yeah. I, I fall into one too many forums looking at those. So, the knight goes on without a pinch. The guards excuse themselves, wanting to head back to town and report uh, of your combat prowess, saving them. Uh, Remus, mm -hmm. what are you going to do? Are Even we right? still, is this still at night? So let, let's say that the morning has come. And okay. you've done all you've needed to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, are you going to stick with this party or are you going to help these guards back to town? Um... Well, they haven't exactly been welcoming, have they? Mm, you never know. These guys can I'd, help you get closer to where you need uh, to be. I liked their... their metal in fight, so I want to kind of hang around with them. They put up a nice fight. It was enjoyable to watch, you know. The, the runaways. Apart from, <laughs> apart from at the end, where I, I fell asleep. Sorry. Mm. Yeah, you guys got knocked out, didn't you? That sucks. I mean, I can't shoehorn this together, guys. You've, you've <laughs> lost. Uh, hey, it's not the. Off into the distance. It's not the worst rejection I've had to a party. I'll admit. It's, you're not selling yourself. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, it's not the worst rejection to a party I've ever had. Once I had a character who was shot at for trying to join a party. I think that person was just being a bit of a dick. Before. I don't remember that. <laughs> there was no need for it. Literally no need for it. And it was like, okay. <laughs> Fine. I, I, I don't think I'm I'm not going to pry and brag to join. I probably shadow them for a while so he stood around he's hung around till the morning has he yeah yeah the sun's risen he's helped keep watch at night oh you said you were headed back to town i'm in no rush and can you take care of yourself eh, yeah i could take care of myself 
And what's your uh, chosen profession, shall we say? Um, <laughs> swindle, con. Oh crikey! So you and her are either going to get on our house on fire or crack off each other? Oh, that could be a possibility, I guess. Well, it looks like we're a man down, so if you want to tag along, we're not exactly, uh, how should we put this? We're associates, I think. There's a, a loose, loose-knit loose band of... Just people who know people. Didn't we fall off the same boat together? Actually, we got employed by the same person, didn't we? I can't think of a really? name. I've got it written oh, down okay. somewhere. But yeah, it's not like we're, we're, we're like... Yeah, I mean, if you want to, if you want to travel with us, that would be great. I don't suppose that anyone's going to mind massively, except for Narissa. But hey, that's who knows? Her. I could become a better, more useful to you than her. Is she, is she gone? <laughs> <laughs> is she asleep, is she? No, I mean, as, as Gemma gone. Hello, what? No, nothing. It's fine. And your friend was just saying how useful he could be. Uh... I might have a skill set that could benefit you. Uh, just. Me, personally? <laughs> well, if you swing that way, sure. I, sh I assure you, sir, I do not. Oh, well. There you go. Answer your own question. <laughs> All right, party. So you you still have a job to complete. You are monster hunting after all. Uh, oh, yeah. Since it is five past eleven, anything you guys want to ask before we wrap this up? Uh, well, I was just going to introduce myself, seeing as you only know my name, third party, not. Yeah. So I, I hold out a hand to. Uh. Uh. Oh shit. Devlin. Uh, pleasure to meet you. Uh, the name's Remus. Devlin Stormforge. Bolikov. Sorry? Belikov. Belikov. Remus Belikov. So be it. Welcome on board. Pleasure Devlin. to uh, make your acquaintance. I think, yeah, Devlin, roll me a history check. <laughs> yeah, okay. Did mention I was thick, didn't I? <laughs> well, the hell? It's not a bad role. No. <laughs> it's not, not enough for me to give you all the information, but you've heard that name before. Okay. Can't quite place it. Maybe more will be revealed in time. I was going to be standing there, like leaning against the wall, one leg up, just picking my nails with my dagger and just going, Nerissa, by the way. Uh, A pleasure. Wait, what, so where, are you? where are you? Where <laughs> are you? Me? you were, yeah. Uh, she's a sea elf. Oh, okay. For some reason I thought I had Ganassi in mind, but she's, she's a fishy one. The picture actually is of a, 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 a water Ganassi. <laughs> that's probably, find... yeah, that's probably it, where I got it from. A water Ganassi with um, pointy ears. I think she's got pointy ears. Yeah, so, sea elf. <laughs> And then I haven't seen, seen any that. water around. Clean, preferably. Clean uh, water. I oh. shall part throw him my water skin. Uh oh, uh, not quite what I had in mind. You can oh. hang on to this. Thank you. <laughs> a a oh, lake. We're, we're or in a swamp. Something. We're in a swamp, aren't we? I mean, you are. I dare not go to water in a swamp. 
Uh, we did. We have a burst all alike, have we? Mm. I mean, those crabs. Where were those crabs? So they were like a day and a bit away on the beach when you guys were going past in the car. Uh, I was gonna say, in, in our journey inland, we haven't come across any kind of an inland. Yeah, no, you haven't really had like a body of water. No, we're in the middle of a swamp, aren't we? Well, yeah, you're in marsh. Hey. Marsh, okay, it's a similar difference. I'm gonna put out my jacket and chuck it on. Off we go then. And with that, you begin the journey back to the cart and to pick this up next week. Ah. Oh. Because that fight took way longer than I thought it would. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I I'm sorry I dragged you through the fucking blender there. That's no, all right. that's alright. That's that's we're all still alive. So right. you, you you've lo lost a cleric and gained someone new. Druid. Druid. Lost we've lost a druid. We've lost a druid. We've lost a druid. Gained a rogue. I think we've lost it out there somehow. Is Remus a rogue? Right, guys, we're gonna finish up there. So tomorrow. So tomorrow we are going to be doing some magic together and hopefully so join us tomorrow at 7 p.m british standard time where we will play some magic together and uh wednesday is the next session of the shaken lands D, D adventures dm by me it would be episode five all right guys so uh look after yourself thanks for watching i'll see you next time peace